What is going on everybody? RDC here back in the video. Here today we're gonna be watching X Files 302. I had to watch like yo I'm, guys, I'm watching this back to back 301 and 302. Um I just had to watch this episode because that the way that the last episode ended, um with more with um with Scully and Skinner pointing the gun at each other. Um that was intense, that was insane. Uh I could tell already tell this season's gonna be amazing. Uh, I'm really, really hyped for it. I'm really excited for it. I can't wait for Scully to see that Mulder's alive and for them. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. I'm super, super pumped for it. Um, it's going to be crazy. But uh, thank you guys for all the support. Um, and let's get right into the episode. There we go. Drop your weapon. Put it down. What the heck? No way. I said put it down. I said no. You're setting me up. I'm trying to help you. What the now heck? Put down and sit down. Not a chance. You said you weren't here to kill me, Skinner, to prove it. I didn't come here to have a gun shoved in my face either. Damn it, Skinner! Oh, oh! I said, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what the hell is this? What are you pulling here? You okay, Scully? Yeah. Let's go, Give baby. It. Let's go. Give her the gun. I didn't expect this. Give it to her. I didn't expect this. Let's go. I want an explanation. I was warned that somebody would kill me. Someone I trusted. It's not Skinner, though. I'm gonna reach into my coat pocket and end this charade. All right. I presume you both know what this is. No, I want an explanation. Your cigarette smoking friend killed my father for that tape, and then he killed me. What are you talking about? I was a dead man. Now I'm back. What is on this tape? Defense Department files that weren't supposed to exist. The truth about our government's involvement in a global conspiracy of silence about the existence of extraterrestrial life. Give me that tape. Oh, uh, this tape's not oh, me. Give her the tape. Oh. What you say is true. The information on this tape is valuable enough to kill for, and it's the only leverage we've got to bring these men to justice. It's not going to do us any good if it falls back into their hands. Then you better make sure it doesn't. Oh, okay. See, they trust them. Come on, Scully, let's go. Where? There are truths out there that aren't on that tape. I love that, though. I loved it. That he just came in. Look at her face. She's happy. <laughs> I love it. Mulder, I... Scully, whatever you're going to say. I went to your father's funeral. Oh, wow. I told your mother that you were going to be okay. How did you know? I just knew. She just knew. You know? I love it. I love it. Oh, okay. We just had a Melissa Scully in surgery with a cranial gunshot. Oh, man. Oh, man. Wait, why is that on her face? Is she get shot in the head? I thought it was in the chest. Bro, I can't believe what they did. I hope she survives this. I know who this man is. Victor Klemper. The man standing next to your father is one of those criminals, though not the most famous of the bunch. Werner von Braun, designer of the V2 rockets that leveled London, may be the most notorious, but Victor Klemper certainly takes the prize for the most evil Nazi to escape the Nuremberg trials. What did he do? Experimented on the Jews, drowned them, suffocated them, put them in pressure chambers, all in the name of science. Together with von Braun, Klemper helped us win the space race. What would he be doing in a photo with your father? I don't know. Do you recognize anybody else in the photograph? No. Operation Paperclip was supposed to have been scrapped in the 1950s. But if this is 1973... Whatever happened to Klemper? He's still here. Living very well at the expense of the American taxpayer. Oh. Unbelievable. <laughs> we thought you were history. You're gonna have to wait a little longer for my video collection, for Vicky. Where were you? We're looking all over. Down at DC General, I was scanning the police frequency when I heard the report of a shooting. Agent's coming. What? What is it? Oh shoot! Her sister's in critical condition. Oh uh, shoot! Yeah. Scully. Scully, wait. Scully. Scully, wait. 
Scully. I have to go there, Mulder. You can't go. That bullet was meant for me. If they're trying to kill you, that's the first place they're gonna look. Those bastards. Yeah. I'm gonna call someone I think can help. It's the only thing you can do for her right now is to try to crucify them. This woman, Scully, I know she believes her partner is still alive. Mulder's dead. I took care oh, of it. Bro. I can't wait for him to pop up and for everybody to see. Was recovered. You have the tape. Of course I have it. I think I'd like to Oh. So oh, snap. I have vouchsafed it for reasons of security. I'll have it here for you tomorrow. Who is that? Expecting any visitors? Oh, is it Dana? Is Dana here? No, it's a man. He says he was asked to come here. My name is Albert Hustine. I was asked to come here and help with your daughter. There must be some mistake. Is your daughter the FBI woman? Dana? Yes. She's very sorry she can't come here to comfort you. You know where she is? Is she okay? Yes, I believe so. think your father would have been doing here? I don't know. I never came home wearing a miner's cap. The right number? You're positive Napier's constant is the basis of all natural logarithms. I think with a crowbar and a small nuclear device, I might be able to get through one of these things. That one worked. No way. Hang on a second. Whatever we find in here. I don't think you've had time to process everything that you've been through. Okay, you weren't even able to go to your father's nah. funeral. And if something in here was to cast doubt on the kind of man he was... I just know how it would affect me. I may have located the digital tape that you're looking for. You may have located it. Yes, though there's a great chance it may fall into the hands of people who might use it for purposes not your own. You want to work a deal? Well... Is that what this is? Let me tell you something. I don't work deals. Oh my god. <laughs> I just thought you should know of certain potentialities. Do you have the tape? As I said, I may have located it. Do you have the damn tape? I'll know more when we next meet. I do not negotiate. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I don't think you do. I don't think you understand at all. How does he have so much power? No, I'm quite aware of your policies in those regards. Well, medical files by the look of it. Got names, alphabetized. Wow. Lots of files. Jesus. Lots and lots of files. Looking for a file on me? Dana, Catherine, Scully. Oh, shoot. That's a recent tissue sample. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, what is going on, bro? I'm getting... I'm getting worried, freaked out, like, what the heck? He's looking for his file now? That's your sister's oh, shit. Yeah. What are you looking for? I don't know. Let me get a scully. Wow. This file was originally mine. I don't understand. Oh my great. Wait here, Scully. No, no, don't split up. Do not split up. Oh gosh. What the heck? Oh, 
Bro. What the heck? No way. Jeez. Hey, they found each other. That's good. What happened to you? He's got a small army outside. I think they got us trapped. I think there's a way out of here. This place isn't even on the map. How'd you get here? You'd be surprised what's not on the map in this country. What our government will do to keep it that way. How's that? Last night we were chased by some kind of hit squad, driving what looked an awful lot like CIA fleet sedans. Well, I may be able to negotiate a deal that would guarantee your safety. What kind of deal? I'll turn over the digital tape in return for your reinstatement. No, sir. I need that tape. I need those files. I'm talking about a way to save your life. I'm not talking about an elaborate conspiracy against the American public. Do you know what we found last night? What? An extremely elaborate filing system of medical records. Locked inside a mountain vault. For the purpose of? I don't know. But the answer's got to be on that tape, in those files. Yeah. Is that answer worth your lives? It's obviously worth killing us for. In your wildest dreams, what do you possibly <sighs> hope to find, Agent Mulder? Why they killed my father. And what happened to my sister. What they did to Agent Scully. I think we should let him make the deal, Mulder. Whoa. Look, those answers mean nothing if we're going to be hunted down like animals. We are operating so far outside of the law right now, we've given up on the very notion of justice. We have turned ourselves into outsiders. We have lost our access and our protection. What makes you think there's any such thing as justice, Scully? Then what good are those answers to anybody but you, Mulder? <clears throat> what we found last night... I want exactly what you want. Oh man. <sighs> Dang, it's a tough spot, man. Tough. It's tough. It's up to you, Scully. Dang. I mean, she wants to make the deal. You can tell he's so disappointed and like he just wants this bad. He wants this so bad. I told Skinner to make the deal. Oh wow. The tape until you agreed to it. I'm sorry about your sister, Scully. That man you just saw, he's been very curious about this room. Who are you? My name is Albert Hostein. I was asked to come here. All right, Albert, do not leave this room. Do you understand? Yes. Oh, no. It's what I'm scared of. Oh, my God. No oh, man, somebody needs to help him. Bro, he he had the tape on him. Man. It's exactly, bro. He played right into their hand, man. Played right into their hand. They wanted him to do that. They're trash. Like, oh, wow. The heck, that's crazy. So they set him up like that, bro. These people, bro, <laughs> that's crazy. Mengele thought that he could produce a super race through genetic engineering. 
as did many of his colleagues at the Institute of Hereditary Biology and Racial Hygiene. Like Victor Klemper? Well, Victor, he loved his orchids. Did you know that he was able to create some of the most beautiful hybrids? Klemper was trying to create an alien-human hybrid. That's what I saw in the boxcar. He was using human test subjects. Mulder, wait. My father was involved in this? The technology wasn't there, Mulder. DNA wasn't even identified until 1944. This is all a lie. When your father realized what the medical data was being used for, he objected strenuously. He collected those files? With the threat of nuclear holocaust in the 1950s, the government instructed men like your father to gather genetic data on the general populace for the purposes of post-apocalyptic identification. The vaccination records. They took tissue from everyone who received a smallpox inoculation. Hundreds of millions of Americans. So that Victor Klemper had access to a DNA database of nearly everyone who was born since 1950. Mulder, this man is telling you everything that you want to hear. But it's a fabrication. It is pure science fiction. There were no experiments with aliens. Why would I lie to you? Like you said before, to protect yourself and the continuation of the Nazi agenda. Human tests. Why was your file there, Scott? Yeah. I don't know. There were current records on file. Yes, but records of what, Mulder? Of abductions! Of abductees! Uh, man, it's all so confusing. Like, who's telling the truth and who's not? It's hard, man. They took her as insurance because your father threatened to expose the project. Why her? Why not me? It's not for me to say. But your life is in danger now, too. You also threatened to expose the project. You have become your father. Why are you telling me this? It's what you want to know, isn't it? Yeah, it is what he wants to know, but is there more? Ah, uh, man, I'm sure there's a lot more. More than you ever know. I'm alive. Not a surprise. You shook. Yes. Good. 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 Uh, where are you? Somewhere that you will never find me, you double-crossing son of a bitch. Are you sure? I'm sure of this. If I so much as feel your presence. I'm going to make you a very, very famous man. You understand? Yes, thank you. I'm going to report that to the group. Why the heck did what they have him killed, though? I don't understand that. Thank you. Oh. Mom, this is Samantha. Before she was gone, did Dad ever ask you if you had a favorite? Did he ever ask you that? Mom, did he ever ask you to make a choice? Yeah, like, Mom, listen, come on, answer this stuff. Yeah, he needs to answer. He yeah, he needs to. Know. It's your father's choice. Wow. That's crazy. Damn. Dang, bro. I feel bad for his dad. His dad obviously didn't want to do that, but, bro, it's so much stuff that we don't know. It's crazy, man. Bro, this guy, bro. Somebody please take him down. I hate it. I, bro, I'm tired of hearing him talk and smoke their cigarettes, man. I'm not finished yet. Hey, Bella Garner. What is this? This is where you pucker up and kiss my ass. Now listen, you, oh, you listen to me, you son Let's of a go, bitch. Let's go, Skinner. This man's name is Albert Hosting. You should remember that. Let's go. Skinner finally standing up to this fool. Blue, Albert is prepared to recite chapter and verse, file for file, everything on your precious tape. A nice try, Skinner. I'm sure you're thinking Albert is an old man. And there are plenty of ways that you might kill him, too. Which is why in the ancient oral tradition of his people, he's told 20 other men the information on those files. So unless you kill every Navajo living in four states, that information is available with a simple phone call. 
Welcome to the wonderful world. Look at him, he's shook. You're bluffing. Am I? <laughs> he's shook. I love this. Love it, man. She died. Bro. Oh my god, bro. Oh man. Bro, I can't believe that. Bro, that's heartbreaking, man. She died for me. And I tried to tell her I was sorry, but I don't think she'll ever let me know. She knows. Melissa knows. You were right. There is no justice. I don't think this is about justice, Scully. Then what is it about? I think it's about something we have no personal choice in. I think it's about fate. We've both lost so much. But I believe that what we're looking for is in the X-Files. I'm more certain than ever that the truth is in there. I've heard the truth, Mulder. Now what I want are the answers. Bro, they need each other and I I loved her sister, man. Her sister was great. Ah, oh, man, it's painful, man. Wow, okay, so that was a very good episode, honestly. Um better than the even the opener. It has so many cliffhangers, so many just twists and turns. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. I love Skinner. He stood up to that dude, bro. I'm, I love it. I love that he's on Mortar and Scully's side. It's amazing. I feel horrible for Scully's sister, man. I liked her a lot. Um, but there's so much that they were uncovering, man. But Mortar's dad, everything, you know. It's Oh, my God. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm excited. It's crazy how they tried to kill Krychek, bro. And he got out of the car and he just... That's crazy. Why would they try and kill him? That's crazy. It's so much stuff. But I love it. I love it. It's twists and turns. It's intense. It's intense. And uh, I'm excited to see where Mortar and Scully go next and how they f uncover all of this. Um, but thank you guys for all the support. Make sure you guys keep uh, liking the videos, commenting. I really appreciate you guys so, so much. You guys have no idea. And um, I'll see you guys in episode three. Peace.